Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and to another rock pooling video where today I'm at Corriton Cove Beach in Dawlish where I end up finding two awesome new species I've never found before so make sure you stick around until the end to see those as well as everything else I found on this trip and if you go on to enjoy this video please leave a like and remember to subscribe if you are new around here as it greatly helps me out but for now let me show you what I found. My first find of this trip was this little juvenile pollock. This species spawns between January and April out at sea, and the eggs drift towards shallower waters and eventually the young develop over the following months, which is why you're likely to see lots of juvenile pollock in the rock pools at this time of year. Eventually, I ended up finding a much bigger shoal of pollock. This huge shoal here also had some pouting in it as well. As mentioned in previous videos, Corriton Cove is a great beach to find loads of coral weed. There are also many juvenile common prawns in the rock pools at this time of year. This strange looking creature here is known as a candy striped flatworm. I was really surprised to see something like this at this beach as I'd never seen anything like it before. It is a species of polyclad flatworm that is commonly found in Western Europe but is also found on the west coasts of the UK. The dark stripes on a vivid white, beige or yellow body is very characteristic of this species. So if you see a flatworm with similar stripes like these for yourself, it can only be a candy striped flat one. This male velvet swimming crab was guarding a female, which is a behavior typically observed by many different crab species prior to mating. During the summer months in the UK, most of our beaches get overrun by this species of green seaweed known as gutweed. If you are out on the shore and you see this type of seaweed, try to avoid walking over it, as it is incredibly slippery. I am confident that this is a species of top shell, however I am unsure which one it is to be exact. But if anyone has any idea, please let me know in the comments below. This is a type of encrusting bryozoan known as sea mat. It is commonly found on kelp fronds on the lower shore. Here is another interesting creature that I've never found before. This is an orange club sea slug, which is a type of nudibranch. They are found on the lower shore and in shallow coastal waters, only growing up to 2cm in length, making them typically difficult to spot. They live on rocks and seaweed like this one here, 
usually looking for bryzones to feed on. Thank you very much for watching this rock pooling video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video.